Hi everyone, we are going to see the exercises from the second exercise to the seventh of the chapter 2, Thinking Like an Economist, of Gregory Mankiw, the book Principles of Economics. So the second question says, one common assumption in economics is that the products of different frame firms in the same industry are indistinguishable. For each of the following industries, discuss whether this is a reasonable assumption. So the first one is steel. So we can consider it as indistinguishable because it's almost a commodity. Commodity means like something that is just like a raw, so it's not like too many processes inside it. So then the product offered by different companies could be assumed as equal. Okay, even there are different different ways, but the the pure steel we can consider as indistingu indistinguishable. Okay, so the novels. Uh, in this case, it's kind of hard because there are several authors, and all the writers have different styles. Right, it's completely a different good when you read one novel from Mario Vargas Llosa or when you read another one or for like Paul, Paulo Coelho which is like different style, different topics so it's so hard to say one novel to another so then in this case almost impos impossible to think it equal good okay so see weed again it is like commodity so we can think about similar goods usually when the good don't have much too much process so again we can think about i want to try to pronounce this word for me it's impossible indistinguishable okay and the last one fast food so we it's reasonable to think it's in this in distinguishable good because when we are talking about buying a hamburger uh in general we can say that we are um, buying or we are eating the same good for from different products producers so we can say it, it, it is like indistinguishable good okay the third draw a circular flow diagram diagram identify the parts of the model that correspond to the flow of goods and services and the flow of dollars for each of the following activities so the first activity is sam pays a storekeeper one dollar for a quart of milk so first we have to go to households where belong sam in this case uh, we are saying that they buy a consumer a consumer good and services that he is buying a quart of milk so in this case this is the flow of dollars which is the outer uh, the outer loop okay so Sam spends one dollar, but he goes to the market. So we we can say that this storekeeper is inside the markets for goods and services where the households buy and the firms sell. In change of this one dollar, he receives a quart of milk. But in the other side, in the other side, there is or there are the firms where they produce and sell goods and services so he or the firm provides the quart of milk instead it uh, receives revenue which is the one dollar income okay the second uh, operation the second activity is sally earns 4.50 per hour working at a fast food restaurant so we assume that there is I'm going to take in account one hour of work. So how is it going to be one hour of work? So there is the other side, which is the markets for factor of production. Remember that the factor of production, they are land, capital, and labor. So we go here and we have here that the firms, they hire and use factor of production. But the firm has to pay the salary of Sally which is going to be in the flow of dollars. Instead of this payment, the firm receives labor. And if we go, this $4.50 dollar 
it goes to the household in the same the flow of, of money which is the outer loop loop so sally earns for 0.50 and in return she has to offer the labor so it's the labor of sally the third operation is serena spends seven dollars to see a movie so it's going to be kind of kind of similar like the meal just with the particular difference that we're not talking about the good but we're talking about service so in this case serena in the outer loop is going to be serena spends seven dollars to see a movie and instead she receives the service of the movie and what about the firm the firm they have to produce and sell goods and services the services cinema so it will be provide the movie instead they receive seven dollar income the last one is Stuart earns ten thousand dollars from his ten percent ownership of acme industrial so in this case we are talking about the in the market for factory production it will be it's not going to be land neither a labor but it's going to be capital so it's going to be the capital of a steward that the firms receive okay but instead of this capital they have to pay this capital so the capital this is the price is the um, the ten thousand dollars which corresponds to the ten percent ownership of acme industrial so acme industrial they have to pay ten thousand dollars so it's going to be in the outer loop which represents the dollar flow so here we have the capital of the steward that they provide to the throughout the market for match for fact production if you see almost this is like this right so for example Sam receives quarter milk they provide milk the service of the movie they provide the movie so they provide the capital they receive the capital they provide labor and they receive the labor it's like almost the same this fourth okay and so like as, you, as I say before this blue arrow it means the flow of dollars and the green arrow it means the flow of goods and services and in this case um, they receive like in the income the because of the ownership of Acme Industrial Store received this part so this is basically the point Fourth, imagine a society that produces military goods and consumer goods which will will call guns and butter a draw a production possibilities frontier for guns and butter explain why it most likely as has a boat out shape so first we we have to noun or lab, label the axis we have guns in the x in the x axis and we have butter in the other side so we have this the boat out and why is the boat out because it's given by the nature of resources what does he mean this means because of the opportunity cost when we approximate to the to the maximum number of guns so all our factors they are devoted in the guns once they have to sacrifice a little bit more uh, a little bit more of, of guns is going to be a, a, a great change of butter what does he mean for example I'm here and I need to pass from here to this point so I need to sacrifice just a little bit guns for having too much change in butter so in this case the slope is kind of infinite in the point in the a x axis on the other side when we are here the slope is kind of flat so when I have to I, I, I want to I have to sacrifice I have to sacrifice uh, a little bit um, more of gas when I just need a little bit of butter so I can say that in this part the cost the opportunity cost of gas in, instead of butter in this case is too high so too like just like few guns for having in, in this case the butter is the cost opportunity so high because I need to sacrifice too many um, too many butters for having just one gun and in this is the opposite way I need to sacrifice uh, too much guns for having a little bit of butter so it depends on how much of each good 
the canopy is producing. So this is why it's like bought out shape. The second point show a point that is impossible for the economy to achieve. Show a point that is feasible but inefficient. So for example, we have the same and we have the these two points the G point which is impossible to achieve and the B point which is feasible but inefficient so this one is the B point we know here that all these set is like they the economy they can be inside here but they are not using all the factors of production so this is considered a feasible so you can reach but is inefficient on the other side we have the D which is impossible to achieve I have more more uh, goods of butter more produces more, more like goods produce um, um, butter and guns but this is the frontier is the possibility frontier of production so we cannot reach that point is imagine that the society has two political parties called the hogs uh, who want strong military and the doves? Who wants smaller military? Show a point on your production possibilities frontier that the hogs and a point the a point doves might choose. So again, we have the same guns and butter, and D I'm going to label as the doves choice and the hogs choice. So here is the D choice. Why? Because remember that the doves they they want a smaller military, so they have smaller production of guns than the hogs production in guns. Okay, so they are here where they produce much more butter. What about the H? It's going to be hogs choice. They have more production of guns instead of less production of butter this is the trade-off they have more guns less butter in the other side they have more butter the less guns okay the D says imagine that an aggressive neighboring country reduces the size of its military as a result both the hogs and the doves reduce their desired production of the gun of guns by the same amount which party would get the bigger piece dividend measured by the increase in butter production explain so for again we have here this is the bolt out uh, shaped so we have the choice uh, the age choice here okay we know this is the D and we H devoted that the other country they have reduced the size of its military some like both parties they are going to reduce the guns desired or the guns produced in the economy so first we have here the DOS product choice imagine that this is the change you're going to reduce this in this proportion the guns if you see there is a little a little little increase in butter it means that the opportunity cost of gains is so high is so high in order to have just a little bit of butter so we are going to call this space or this gap as the piece dividend in the other side wait this is D prime in the other side is the H they're going to produce the same part of guns but they're going to have a big increase in butter this is the H prime so you see this is the peace dividend and the peace dividend is higher in hoax choice why because of the opportunity cost in this time the opportunity cost of guns is small compared with butter but in this case the opportunity cost of guns is so high for a little bit of butter so it means that this slope I can interpret as the opportunity cost in this case when the uh, when the slope is higher the opportunity cost expressed in guns is less and in this case with the slope is like kind of flat kind of zero we can interpret that the guns 
the the opportunity cost is so high okay so the party that would get a bigger price dividends the whole party but this is given by the slope at this point as i said before okay the fifth point the first principle of economics discussed in chapter one is that people face trade-offs use a production possibilities frontier to illustrate a society's trade-off between a clean environment and high incomes what do you suppose determines the shape and position of the frontier show what happens to the frontier if engineers develop an automobile automobile engine with almost no emissions so we have here instead of butter against and against we have high incomes and clear environment so this is about out um, usual possibilities frontier of production so the position will determine which the society decide the shape is given by by the cause of opportunity between each his these two aspects so we can see here the trade-off what does it mean if i want more like higher incomes i need to sacrifice a less clear environment in the opposite side if i want more clear environment i need to sacrifice high incomes so this is the the theme and position of the frontier in a position over here close to high incomes it means that we are not paying attention to the clear environment and the other side the clear environment here it would be that we are not taking too much into account the high incomes so what about if there is like um, in this case develop an, uh, an automobile engine which almost no emission so the the clear environment is going to increase so it's going to be like this so at the end if we were in a point which means this quantity of income we are going to maintain we are going to keep this level of income but in the same at the same time we will increase the level of clear environment this is given because the invention of this automobile engine okay next the sixth point classify the following topics and relating to macro microeconomics or macroeconomics so the first the family's decision about how much income to save each time we talk about family decision we are talking about micro okay just a household is like part of the interest of the micro field how they interact with the society and way one way to interact with the society is the income that they decide to save the second the effect of government regulation on auto emissions so when we are talking about the government and the impact in government we are we are talking much more about macroeconomics so just government is a, a, like a bigger level so we are talking about macro the impact or, or higher national saving economic growth each time we are talking about economic growth uh, we are talking more about the countries so this is more about macroeconomics economic growth is important part of the macroeconomics interest a firm's decision about how many workers to hire even if there is you know, like a big big company which has a big impact maybe in the, in the country when we are talking about firms we are talking more about me microeconomics okay this is remember that we have the, the circle flow we have the households and firms this is more analysis in microeconomics the relation between the inflation rate and changes in the quantity of money so we are talking more about macro again macro one of the interests one part it could be the inflation rate and the quantity of money in the economy so classify each of the following statement as positive or normative explain so the first society faces a short range trade-off between inflation and employment so it's a positive remember positive is a descriptive is more a fact is something that there is not like some some value or some like subjective position from the people that or from the person who says this statement 
In this case, remember that we talk about the same principle about the Phillips curve. The Phillips curve is a trade-off between inflation and employment. It's a fact. It's a collection of data. Once you have a high inflation, you will face a, a low unemployment in the short run. And it could be the opposite uh, if we think about uh, low inflation and high unemployment. This is a fact. So we can talk a positive, a, a, a positive statement. This the, the next one is a reduction in the rate of growth of money will reduce the rate of inflation. It's positive. So it's one of the principles of economics again. The inflation is given. Remember, the inflation is the increase generalized of all the prices in the economy. So once we have more money, we we we're going to spend more and the prices will go up. So it will be a positive a positive statement. If the Federal Reserve Reserve should reduce the rate of growth of money. This is normative. Once when we pass the border of science, which is a fact, which is with the information came or it came by data and we are talking more about should, might, what the organization they can do. So in this case someone uh, is proposing to the Federal Reserve that they have to reduce the rate of growth of money. This is normative, okay? This is like an advice always it's gonna be normative. It's a prescriptive value. Society out to require welfare recipients to look for jobs. So it's gonna be normative again. So it's out to, it's more about subjective position. Okay? And this is normative. Lower tax rates encourage more work and more saving. This is positive. Data says that when we have a lower tax rate, we have more available income. So we can like, we can encourage more work and more saving. This is a positive argument, okay? And it's a data and it is a fact. So we finished the first uh, from the second to the seven exercises of chapter two. So I hope it, would, it like was uh, uh, okay for you. You have learned a little bit and it would be a, a help for you. So see you the next video and success with the economics. See you.